Hello, the ladies and gents. So, playing around, sorting my scraps, and this little pishki bugger says F off, and it says it doesn't have hard drive. I don't know why, but meh, failed. Weird stuff. There is hard drive in it. It was working last time. Is it right there? But now it's saying it doesn't have it. Yeah. I think I need to build this one a little bit faster. Oh well. Dark outside and oh, it's raining. Holy scrap holy. I hearing thundering. And yeah. It's dark like it about nine or something, but it's what do we got? Not even four. Oh, yeah, it is raining a little bit, and I begin to fill up my shred trailing. Finally, nice and fresh. Boom. Yep, get a little sweaty and uh, get rid of some of the sorting stuff. Move them out there so they're not standing in the way and end up with four buckets of each copper and brass. Awesome! Noise and heavy stack and it's close to the door so that's good. Yeah, and I cannot play any videos or cannot listen any music other than I go down there but I will clean up a little bit in here as far as I got open window out there and it's rainy and nice and fresh air so it's kind of a little bit uh, fresh in here so uh, I just think I got one more laptop out, out there so I don't remember what what was the issue with it so, I believe I could check out Boom. Oh, another HP, so probably that would be the same pluggy And yeah, there is hard drive What's wrong with you? It was working last time, as I remembered. I was using it. Oh well, gonna get scrapped. And this one, why I to replace this one with this one? I don't know. I don't remember. Seems complete to me. Okay, let's try to give him some. Oh wait, maybe. Oh, there's the plug. What fit? Yep. Okay, we got power. Do we? Nope. Where that wire leading? This wire leading somewhere there. Uh oh. Up there. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, that's why we don't have any power. Okay. Let's see. Pluggy. I need one pluggy. What are you? No, what are you? But you are disconnected. Boom. There's sign of life or show. Nah. If I hit the right button, 
Oh, something going on. <laughs> Woohoo! Almost. Resuming windows. Okay. Let it be. Awesome, so I got the PC running, almost. Yeah, let's plug in all the stuff and yeah, I come back later on. Cheers! Boom! So, hello, the ladies and gents. I uh, was playing with those buggers and yeah, this one don't want to connect to internet. I don't know, even it's showing me I got access, but it won't connect. This is what I put under, saying it got no hard drive, but there it is. Anyway, uh, no working. I want to have some music or whatever. So, this you saw like X videos ago. I don't know when exactly, but yeah. Um, I almost finished it back then. I got like one, two, one hard drive, uh, optical, and then I got two caddies to drop in hard drives, and as well, like two hard drives, a uh, little caddy, what's going inside. So there's like one SSD for system and, and one extra. I don't remember what size I did put out there, but oh well. Uh, I got more caddies like that, so I can replace this one uh, with with extra caddies to have extra spot place. Uh, here, instead of floppy, there is like hard drive dropped in, and that gave me one, two, three, four, five, six drives. And those you also saw like a few videos ago. Uh, those it's not super new, but. It was working last time, at least partially. Uh, I think I'm gonna drop it inside and then see what's gonna happen. So far, uh, one channel of the memory does not working, so I'm limited to two little bricks. But oh well, it is how it is for now. I got one more exactly same motherboard, also with some uh, water damage. That one got like a little bit here and a little bit somewhere there in this area. Anyway, a few broken data lines next to the CPU slot. It was fixed, uh, you could see that on one of my vid. And yeah, huge, very huge cooling. Uh, yeah, overkill a little bit, but we will see. I just dropped one fan for now. We will see if that thing is gonna be too hot, then we can think about something else. But yeah. Uh, let's grab this bugger, drop it in, and put the motherboard and try to set it up. So, I will got like some media PC in here. Oh yeah, there was like potential, there is like case or cover from it. And potential motherboard, what I'm thinking about using in this bugger. But I never get into it. What what was that? Uh, Intel Xeon 2.5 gigahertz, but we got six slot for the memories. Also old one, but oh well, that was the little plan. But nope, I got this one. Uh, I could I could still play with it a little bit more, cause ow ow. At bottom, there is like few little scratches. Uh, those come out from the scrapyard container. It was laying loosely and flying around out there, but I did manage to fix like few lines. There could be, actually, could be the reason why one channel doesn't work because they actually leading to there somewhere. So maybe there is like one broken or two more broken lines. But oh well, for now. Uh, I think I got... What do I got here? I think I got like... Uh, what is this? Is, is, is. Yeah, that's 16 giga people. So, should be good enough for now. For start with, if... Yeah, I can always take it out and play with it later on. Or try the another one. Anyway, just to have like little PC. Or 
I can also grab one of the laptops and just test it. But yeah, I rather to finish this one because I started like I don't know long long time ago. But yeah, and then I get like as usual sidetracked with something else and get busy and and start it and forgot about it. As usual, no, there's also something to play. Anyway, so ladies and gents, let's grab this bugger, put it here, mount this thingy in, connect all together, and yeah, set up some PC in here. So wish me luck and cheers. Boom, first issues comes out as usual, nothing new. First of all, I barely can drop it inside the case because of the heatsink standing in the way but yeah that's no biggie another issue comes out with this lower uh, caddy because it's standing uh, it cannot go all the way in it's missing like one centimeter and hitting some yeah just motherboard some some pluggy out there anyway uh, i could solve that with getting rid of those caddy and I find like one blank little thingy what I can drop in here or if I go for the search and try to find like shorter CD uh, drive station I saw them they were shorter I think I have I should have it somewhere something like that slightly shorter ones so that may be solution yeah, that's slaying something, but that's the standard size. Uh, never mind. Anyway, that's one thing you need to do. And yes, as well, of course, I got to rip off this little pluggy because all the LEDs and power button and reset, it's in one pluggy, what definitely not gonna fit to this one. Oh well, always some. And fuck, I forgot about back plane little plate. Okay, let's continue on then. <laughs> always some, right? Something, right? Boom, so far going well. Anyway, cheers. Boom, ladies and gents, after a little fight. I think I got it all. Yeah, a little mess with the data wire, but I still got like I used six of SATA cable. I still got like two pieces of M2 uh, drive slots. So that's cool. Yeah, basically, I could give him a power and see if it's gonna blow or I see some fun spinning. Or maybe I supposed to bring some screen. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. No crap. Oh yeah. That was actually planned GPUs for using. Old one, GTX 970, GTX, but I got something better. 1050 Ti. Also Asus. Also, I've also you supposed to know that GPU because I have it on the video and I give it like a little spa to it so everything is clean new heat paste and yeah all that good stuff noise so yep the fight continuing cheers boom cut the screen uh, choose this one because it's like decent size and it was standing down there in the cave so another item what come out from there so that's good on plus the problem is i need to have like wire i need either hdmi or display port and i got quite few also down there at the basement but i pack them out and take them away and they laying somewhere in the pile as i showed you earlier on Oofed. now i got to go there and dig it Always something, right? Hift, hift. Anyway, <laughs> it's taking a bit of time, but oh well, it is how it is. I'm gonna come back when I find the cable, and uh, later on, I got to look after some keyboard.
Yeah. Good. Wish me luck, peeps. And let's hope I find it quick. Because there's big pile. Cheers. Pom. Okay, so ladies and gents. Moment of the truth. Will this thingy blow up? Or not? So. Yeah. Power switch connected. GPU connected by display port to this little bugger. I don't know if you're gonna find it out or not. What's that? Where's that come from? Already some mess. Uh, so nothing left to do then. Give it, give it the power, and then didn't start by itself, but something shiny on the motherboard okay so ladies and gents where's the power button power button is right there so oh something going on this one's spinning this one's spinning this one's spinning i heard the hard drive there's some indication light but they are covered with the sata cables Oh yeah, I see green. Good. That's good. Keyboard woke up. What about the screen? Anything on the screen? Nope, nothing so far. Indication light. Oh, there is one red as well. Huh. Huh, what is this? Is this is I don't know. GPU not turning. Screen doesn't reacting. No good. Yeah, there is some communication. Uh, what about input? Scan. Uh, component uh, display port. No signal. Okay. Display port, no signal. No, it's not shaft all the way in. Why is that? Anything change? Scan. S video. I'm on S video, but I'm supposed to be on display port. Quick scan. S video. We're looking for display port. Where is OK? This? Yes, now we are on display port. We got only one, right? There was like auto detect thingy. Uh, menu. Reset. Auto. Hold it for a while. What's that do? Nothing. Menu. No, that's not menu. Reset. What is pip pop? Pip pop. No, pip pop is no good. Quick select. Quick select. Uh, DVI display port. Yeah, this composite video. No, no, no. Where's the OK? That should be OK. So display port, it's selected. Uh, this bugger doesn't give our, us any I see one red light. That's maybe the reason. And what is that light for? I don't know. I don't remember. I got to put some light on it and check it out. Good. I'll be right back. Boom, ladies and gents. So let's try again. Uh, I re I find out the red light. It is uh, power. So boom. Power on. And three, two, one, boom. It's alive. Green light. Screen. So uh, it just needs a little time uh, at the first at the first start. Uh, as well. 
setup drives, a boot section, sequence, sequence, yeah, boot sequence. And what else to do is just give it some system. I go with Windows 10 and yeah, put this bugger into some kind of stress test. But uh, I think this. I'm gonna do on the next video because this one I guess is getting already long. So, ladies and gents, we got this bugger running. What? What do you want? Oh, come on. We got this bugger running. Yeah, show me the. Show me the thingy. Boom! There we go. And what do we got? One, two, three, yeah, drives. And info, yeah, SATA information. Uh, yeah, 2000 gigabit balls, 250. What? Ah, this is CD drive. And 1000. Shouldn't be like six pieces? Yeah, should be. And yeah, 16 gigabit was memories in 20, 2400 megahertz. Then we got like i7 uh, 70, uh, 4.2 gigabit balls, gigahertz, not b balls. And here, six, no, yeah, that's that's the memory 16 gigabit balls. So fun so far. Mm, and yeah, that's that's all what we got at the at the first page info anyway so ladies and gents i believe i'll see you on the next one so cheers